Hello. So this is a quick video showing how you make little pressure wedge triangles in Finale. Someone asked me how to do that and it was really hard to explain in words. So I'm going to use this video. There probably is a better way to do this, but this is how I do it. So what you do is you go to the uh, expression designer window, click on the score, you get your little expression selection window. Um, let's just call this a miscellaneous thing. And create miscellaneous expression. Click on shape. Click on create. Now, I like to be able to see the grids because it lets me create um, straight lines. So here is show grid. And then you click on this polygon tool to draw your triangle. So one click where the first line goes. Click where the second part is. And then you double click to close it. Bam, closed. Now I click on the arrow to select the shape. There it is, it's been selected. Go back up to Shape Designer menu, go down to Fill, fill it with black, and there you have a black triangle. Good looking pressure wedge right there. Click OK. OK, now I have it, and I'm going to put it in the score. Look, it's huge, but that's all right. You just double click that handle, and then you can adjust it so it's whatever size you want. And um, there you go. You got a good pressure wedge right there. So the major, major drawback of this, and I don't know a way around it, if someone else does, I'd love to know, is that you kind of have to create a new shape for every instance you use it in the score. Because if, let's say I wanted to use that same shape in another spot. Well, okay, scroll down, there it is. Bam, looks all right. Now it's the same exact size as the first one. However, it's quite probable that you're gonna to wanna to adjust the size at different points in the score. So let's say I uh, you know, wanna make this one smaller. I do that. And you see I just updated the layout and the, the, that, the first one is now smaller. Um, that's just because I guess, you know, Finale doesn't let you adjust each selection, you know, separately for every instance that it's used. It, it changes the basic shape, which changes every single time it appears in the score. Now there's a way around that. So I'm gonna undo what I just did. Um, no, I'm gonna delete that. Let's say I wanna have a small wedge there, like I was just trying to do. What I do is I just duplicate that expression. So now I have two. They look the same, but they're actually different. I select that one, assign it, double click the handle, and resize it, and voila. Now we have two wedges, different sizes, bam. Um, pretty damn annoying, but you can kind of streamline the process if you use um, key keyboard shortcuts so like you know let's say I'm working and here I'm like speedy entry and I'm like oh I gotta put a pressure wedge so I've got my keyboard shortcut that takes me to the expression dialog double click I'm like oh crap I need a new one duplicate bam done it took me like five seconds so you know once you get in the swing of it it doesn't take too long to do it's a little unwieldy but that's the best solution I have all right, thank you.